Workers are looking at tougher rules for animal rehab centers. This after a 13 News Now investigation revealed holes in the regulations for adopting potentially dangerous dogs. Last year, a pit bull mauled a 90-year-old Virginia Beach woman to death. Her family says they don't know about the animals they didn't know about the animal's violent history. 13 News Now reporter Jacqueline Lee has been investigating the story since it broke. David, we took our findings to lawmakers last year when we discovered there is no legislative oversight governing the adoption of aggressive dogs, meaning there's no protection for you. Today, the Senate unanimously passed a bill that would change that. It was a fatal pit bull attack that Senator Bill DeSteff said could have been prevented. It had, within 24 hours of adopting it, it had been returned for biting multiple times. So that's not a good thing. Our months-long investigation revealed Forever Homes Rehab Center never disclosed Blue the pit bull's bite history before it was adopted out to the Patterson family. Linda Patterson was attacked when trying to save her mother, 90-year-old Margaret Colvin, who was eventually mauled to death by the pit bull. So her mother disemboweled virtually, and then her mother's arm had to be amputated, and her mother died. Uh, it's, and the room was just covered with blood. Uh, so it's really, it's, it's, she's not doing well. After Colvin's death, the family's attorney filed a $5 million lawsuit against Forever Homes Rehab Center. After speaking with various government agencies, I found there are no laws in place to prevent a dangerous dog from being adopted out and potentially killing again. So I took this to Senator DeSteff. He then drafted the Ask and Tell Bill. If you um, go to uh, purchase a dog or get a dog, the releasing organization, so the organization where you would get that dog, they have to tell you if that dog has a bite history. And they have to ask wherever they got the dog from if it had a bite history. In the case of Blue, our investigation revealed the pit bull bit a child in New York before it was sent to Virginia Beach for rehabilitation. Blue also bit a woman who returned him to Forever Homes before the fatal mauling. Their life has been turned inside out for really no reason. The bill will now go before the House. If it passes there, Governor Northam will decide if it will turn into law. So I checked in with his office to see if he planned on signing it. A spokesperson said he will review the legislation when it reaches his desk. Live in studio, Jacqueline Lay, 13 News Now.